Before you watch this video, click the link in the top right corner to view our introduction video on subcutaneous injections. You can also find the link in the video description below. How to fill your syringe with medication and give yourself a subcutaneous injection. Step 1. Gather your supplies. You will need your medication vial. If you store your medication vials in the refrigerator, take it out 30 minutes before you plan to give yourself the injection. The medication should be at room temperature when you inject it. Do not shake the vial. Shaking it may damage the medication inside. Other supplies you will need include a syringe and needle, one bandage, two alcohol wipes, a solid container to throw away the syringe and needle, such as a heavy plastic laundry detergent bottle with a lid or a sharps container. Step 2. Wash your hands. Wash your hands well with soap and water and dry them. You can also use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Step 3. Fill your syringe with medication. First, check that the medication vial has the correct medication name. Then look at your prescription to confirm how much medication you should receive, which is called the dose. Remove the cap from the medication vial. Open an alcohol wipe. Clean the top of the medication vial with the alcohol wipe for 15 seconds. Let the vial air dry for 5 seconds. Unwrap the needle and syringe. To join them together, insert the tip of the syringe into the bottom of the needle by pushing in and turning clockwise. Move the safety feature away from the needle. With the needle cover on, pull back the plunger and draw air into the syringe. The amount of air you draw into the syringe should equal your dose of medication. For example, if your dose is 0.5 milliliters, you would draw 0.5 milliliters of air into the syringe. Remove the needle cover from the syringe. With the vial upright, Put the needle straight into the rubber stopper of the medication vial. Inject air into the vial. Keeping the needle in, turn the vial upside down and make sure the tip of the needle is in the liquid. Slowly pull back on the plunger until the correct dose of medication has entered the syringe. If there are air bubbles in the syringe, flick the syringe with your fingers until the air bubbles rise to the top. Gently pull the plunger down and then push it back up to force the bubbles out of the syringe. Make sure the correct medication dose is still in the syringe. Turn the vial upright and remove the needle. Rest the syringe in the needle cap and on a clean surface as you prepare your injection site. Step 4. Sit or lie in a comfortable position so that you can see your injection site. 
fold back any clothing that is covering the injection site. If you're doing the injection in your belly, choose an area on the right or left side of your belly, at least two inches from your belly button. Step five, clean the injection site. Open the alcohol wipe and clean the injection site with the wipe. Wait a few seconds to allow your skin to air dry. Don't touch or blow on your skin. Step six, prepare the syringe. Using your dominant hand, which is the hand that you write with, hold the syringe around the middle like a pen or dart. With your other hand, gently pinch two to three inches of skin and fat tissue. Step seven. Inject the medication. Put the needle straight into the pinched skin in one smooth, quick motion. Use your thumb or index finger to slowly push the plunger all the way down until all the medication is injected. Count slowly to five after all of the medication is injected. Then pull the syringe straight out of your skin. Let go of the pinched skin. Don't put the needle cover back on the syringe. Be careful not to poke yourself with the needle. Step eight, throw away the syringe. If the needle you are using has a safety feature that covers the needle after injection, activate the safety feature before putting the syringe into the sharps container. Throw away the syringe in a needle box or sharps container. Step nine, apply bandage if needed. If you have questions about subcutaneous injections, please contact your care team.